Ready? So uh, right now we're going to do a Q&A uh, with James Jr. And uh, we're in our second big truck that we ever had here, which is a 1974 Pete. It's a four, no, actually a 350 Cummins with a five and a four speed. Um, we've just done the engine transmission and, and clutch and, and uh, Ronaldo did a beautiful job of painting the firewall in this truck. So underneath the cab and on the underside of this, it's in really nice shape, just painted and redone. The outside of it's a little rough around the edges. It needs some interior work, and it also needs some a paint job on the outside. But it's a 1974, and, and look right here. <laughs> this truck, you know, has a new engine in it, and you can just hear it, you know. It... Oh. So, uh... I've got, uh, this truck went everywhere. I mean, I can remember the days when uh, we would take this down to the U.S. and haul stuff back. Uh, I had a home 750 on the back, which I'll show you a little later on. I still have that too. And um, it just runs and starts, it's reliable. And I'm gonna try to get James into learning how to drive a five and four and uh, later on we're gonna we're gonna film him going around the yard and learning how to drive a diesel truck. And what better a truck to cut your teeth on is yeah. this 74. You know, it's a beautiful truck and, and you know we still mm -hmm. it's got air windshield wipers on, as you can see here. Turn each windshield wiper on separately. And I actually have another cab here that's the same. Why did that light go out? I don't know. That was weird. But. So we'll shut it off right now just because of the noise. And James wanted me to do a Q&A with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do that for him right now. But the deal is he's got to get in the truck <laughs> and, and learn how to drive 5 and 4 and, and practice on these trucks. Yeah. You know, you don't start out with a brand new truck around here. You're going to earn your way to the top. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a light. A light. <laughs> <laughs> Good old truck. Mm -hmm. See, never let you down. Yeah. So what's the first questions you want me to answer to or ask? Uh, what, what question do you want to ask me? Or is this viewers that are asking these questions? Oh, well, I got one. Well, yeah, I got a heavy hitter one. Okay. So what people want to know is, is Colin coming back? Well, I, you know, Colin would always be welcome back here. Um, phenomenal person, great person. I've always enjoyed working with him. Um, great driver. And he was a great driver, yeah. But Colin, you know, where he's at in life is he wants to stay local and, you know, be at home a little more. And um, I understand that. Uh, lately, I've been doing that too since we've got the new rotator. It's a day cab truck like this truck. And with a day cab, you basically run around the valley and do things, maybe go a little bit of broad once in a while, but the big sleeper trucks that do the long haul work, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's pretty, you're, you're right now, guys are going to Montana, you know, two days down, two days back. Yeah. So you're, you're four days or a week on the road. So uh, back to your question. Um, yeah. Colin would always be welcome back here. I just don't think he'll come back. I think he's driving a cement truck now. Yeah. He's enjoying, you know, that kind of life and, and the day-to-day -day working around the valley. And I think he'll continue doing that. But if he knocked on my door and said, hey, look, I need a truck. I want to go long hauling again. Right now. We'd, we'd figure mm -hmm. that out in a hurry. All right. And then also, what truck would you buy back if you had a need for it? Um, What truck would I buy back? If you needed it. I mostly have all the original trucks that we ever had here. Mm -hmm. Um. The one that I I really miss that we sold the most uh, was the 75 ton Peterbilt that uh, we had. The we, first ever rotator? I think it was the first one we had, the mm -hmm. 1075. And you, you drove around in there, remember? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were just, how old were you when you were, that was... 09? Yeah. 08, so, 08, 09. I think it was an 08 Peterbilt with a 1075 century on it. 08 is four years old. <laughs> yeah, you were four four years old then? In 2008, yeah. Yeah, so you would have been riding around with me when when you mm. were that, that young. Isn't that mm -hmm. weird? Yeah. Yeah, and now you're talking about stuff that went on when you were four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, that's the the only one that I really miss is that one. Yeah. And pretty much I kept everything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I have all the oldies. And what about the Western Star Rotator? How do you feel about that? Um, you know, that was a good truck. You know, all trucks are good in their own way. A lot of the fans like it a lot. Yeah, it was a beautiful purpose-built truck, and I spent <laughs> loads of money on that truck. I mean, mm -hmm. I put a fire foam system on it. It had, a, I think, a 12-kilowatt generator on it. And it was it it had all the bells and whistles that truck, mm -hmm. but the the original uh, one that I had the first rotator, I missed that one. The Pete, yeah, yeah, I really missed that. It, one. Where is it now? Well, it's in the U.S. and actually, it's got a new paint job on it. And the new owner, funny, the owners of these trucks later on, you know, when they get the truck, they'll text me or email me, and mm -hmm. he, he sent me a video on that truck. Yeah, and um, oddly enough. The 08 Peterbilt wasn't used as much as the 2012 Western Star. Really? Yeah, the Western Star had more hours on it. It was used in Alberta. It had more miles on it. Uh, the 08 Pete didn't get the hours. Didn't get used as much, which is a good thing. Cause yeah, like, yeah, it would have been the used. Truck. Right, it would have been used a lot less. Mm. And um, just was, you know, low miles. So anyway, that, that's the story in that truck. That's the one I miss the most. Okay, so when I was a kid, you know, I'd jump in my dad's trucks and learn how to drive them and get familiar with them all. And, you know, a five and a four, a two transmission truck is not around much anymore. So um, this would have been a pretty mean machine when I was a kid, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll take you for a little burn in it and then I want you to drive it and learn how to drive it. So not many, and I'm going to put a record back on this truck again one day. Yeah. So, you know, we may give it a paint job and do the frame and stretch it and all that. So oh, okay. this, this truck would be a perfect truck just to run around the valley. Yeah. So we'll fire it up. It's got a new engine, transmission, clutch, rear main seal, paint on the firewall. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to release the brakes and we're going to go do a little run around the yard here and then I want you to take it. You can, I'll be the passenger. Yeah, and I'll take over. Yeah, you can take over and learn how to, how to drive. So, I'm going to keep it in the, in the lowest. So, the, trans, the auxiliary transmission has four speeds. Yeah. And I'm going to keep it in the lowest speed, right? Oh, okay. So, and then this is five. Oh, okay. So, I'm not using the clutch because I'm used to driving a truck, I guess. Yeah. So, and you get real good, you can jake shift too. <laughs> Which, not so, quite there yet. <laughs> not, no, you're not there yet.
is on what you need. But you can put the 1701 on here and tow with it every day. Yeah. Or a 750 or just a, you know, a BTU or, or even a new wrecker on an old truck. And just give it an HL. Yeah. So your turn to get in here now. Give it up this And let it open.
up trucks in the yard here, take them for scrap, or you can take a truck to a body shop, put it in a trailer on there. So, yeah, give you a trailer. Do we sell the land off? No, uh, we sold it. Go again. Right here is the original Home 750 that was on that peat. You can see that the paint's quite the same. So that body's been kicking around here for years. And the original booms are here. Right here that were on it. And the actual mast, or the 750 mast, I'll show you that. I've reused that on another truck, the mm -hmm. Home's crane, the mast. So it's on a Home 750 we have in the shop and I'll show you where that's at right now. So I keep all this stuff and, and I might take a mast and winches off of one, put it on another. Um, I'm thinking about putting a wrecker on that truck. Um, I happen to have a 1701 here in the corner and you know it's in my mind to do it but I've got a lot of projects <laughs> and this box we'll probably never use again. Yeah, I got the booms are good. Yeah, a set of good spare booms here. I'll show you. I'll show you where the mast is if you want to look at that. What is this white one for on the top? This is a this this one here is just a 480 for parts. What do, is that? What you originally bought it for? Um, it has a yeah. Holmes 480 thing on there. The decal. Yeah, we might use that on another truck. It's in pretty good shape, isn't it? Yeah, because the decals are hard to find. I remember when this truck was <laughs> this wrecker belonged to a company in Abbotsford that's long gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember when this wrecker was brand new. So, oh. And <laughs> just put on the truck. <laughs> just to come back to you. <laughs> yeah. And this this is the uh, old army truck crane. And yeah. That, that army truck crane is going to go on to the 71 Chev. No, oh, I see. Yeah, so I got them all. I got it all planned, but you know, we just need the manpower and the people to do it in the time. And recently, yeah. with the COVID, I don't know what it is. Maybe the trucking is so busy. People are ordering stuff online. We're so busy that we there's really no time for projects. You know, mm -hmm. not at all. So we may. I'll show you where the crane is. The original crane from the 750. Come and have a look. Which we'd rather have money than projects. <laughs> well, we got to work. That's right. Yeah. You know, we have to do the job. Come on in here. So this this 750's been in resto mode for almost eight or eight or nine years now. <laughs> this this is the original crane that was on that 74 Peterbilt. So it's all been remounted and put on this truck. The teeth on the gears are really nice. Yeah, they don't uh, look like they've been used. Yeah. They haven't been used, right? No, and then we this this crane is in really nice shape. So mm -hmm. we put it on this Western Star. And uh, me and you are going to do the transmission and rebuild oh, yeah. here sooner or later. Another I've been video. bugging you to help me do that. Okay. So this transmission here is out of a 600 homes. But if we change the outboards, they'll work on that 750. Yeah. So me and you are going to rebuild this. This thing was rebuilt already, but it's, you can see it's got some sludge in it. We're going to clean it up, mm -hmm. reseal it, paint it, and then it's going to go on that 750. So yeah. You're going to have to learn, and I'm going to teach you to take all this apart. And um, we'll put a new new seal kit in it, and teach you to know what parts are good, which ones are bad, and how to make something from nothing. It work, yeah. There's a lot of t days guys in this business would throw the transmission out and get a whole new transmission or a new winch. Yeah. In in my day, you didn't have money to buy brand new winches, so you had to be handy with your hands because if you could fix this winch, and there wasn't much money around. You mm -hmm. can go back to business and get jobs done. Yeah. But if you can't fix things and you got to rely on buying all new stuff all the time, you quickly go broke. Not a good business model. <laughs> no. So you, you have to have some skill in rebuilding things and parts and doing work on your trucks. Yeah. Or or you won't you know you won't make it. When other guys are going broke, the guys who are handy with fixing things mm -hmm. are going to stay in business. Yeah. Because there's not always that much money around. Things get tight at times, right? Because so, because all that, when you have light bills and stuff, well, you can't you, you can't afford ten grand for a transmission right. so when there's that stuff. This would have been a ten thousand dollar piece in the day. Yeah. So, so we'll work on this being you later. That's for another, another video. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well.